Finally, we're here. Welcome back to PBIC 2018. That we are ready to set and get things ready to go for match number two. But before that, we are going to introduce the teams to you guys. That we have the two teams up and ready to go. Go ahead and take a look at the squads here for the second match. Starting things off, the signature PB coming out from Thailand. Very strong team, Thailand for sure, as they just came up here and had seen them in multiple, multiple international matches. A very, very strong team for sure, as they continue to grow. Possibly one of the dark horse teams, I would say, from Group A. Yeah, we're going to get to talk a little bit about uh, Carabell in our video at the beginning of the broadcast, you know, chatting about him uh, and a couple other players who are going to be really standout stars for us. Free, of course, was uh, one of the ones in the mix alongside Next Jack. So we're going to be looking for a strong performance out of him as we get ready to go up against Pentawalan Esports from Peru. So they will be the other squad here on the other side of the arena. We have finally gotten all of the issues taken care of. Everybody's loaded up into the lobby and pretty much set and ready to go. Favorite maps, Blow City, then Midtown here for Pantalon. We're not playing on either of those. We're going downtown mm -hmm. for this series. Yeah, it seems like they are ready. We've changed the computer. We had the monitor issues fixed. So they're up, ready to go. Look at that. Can't kill that from Medusa. 2.02, of course. That number doesn't really show exactly everything that he's allowed to, but look at that, everyone above that 1.0 basically means they had a really, really dominant road coming here. Well, will that continue or will they get shut down by Signature PP? It's gonna be the question. Already had a very close first series here on the main stage between RQ Endeavor and World Judge Esports Club. Will it happen again? As we get ready to jump on, first let's go ahead and take a look at our map. Get a brief, brief little refresher here of downtown. Downtown. As first you go, as you would always do want to follow those arrows on the wall at the first game. They will but, guide you. Mm -hmm. And this map actually has lots and lots of windows that you can actually shoot through. And your bullets can be blocked, so you have to be careful when you're shooting through it. And there are some spots like the B side that you can shoot from far, far away. So lots of rifles can actually come into a big power here. A lot of different methods of approach, a lot of routes that these teams can take. As we get ready to kick it off, both squads gonna be loaded up into the game. We're ready to go ahead and kick off this second match of the day on the main stage. Signature PB versus Pantolon Esports. Guys, let's dive straight into the action. It's gonna be the first game on downtown. We're seeing a lot of grenades being thrown because they oh, yeah. securing the midsection from both sides is actually the most important thing on this map. Comes out and gets killed. Yeah, Makes already. Someone at the same time. Two members dead on the side of Pentwell on. Signature Fire losing off. two of their own aggressive and Caspian Fire both off. dangerously low. So advantage over to Pentwell on at the moment here. Yeah, trying to go into the B side, but with just a so single person trying to get to that high ground, it's actually really hard to break through. Lots of spots that Blue can actually defend from. That's another kill. Yeah, watch you well. Take it down, ball drop. Finds a shot and signature PB. Really backed into a corner here. As aggressive will get taken down. A headshot coming up from Phosphoro. Able to find that kill. And now it is Caspian all on his lonesome in a 1v3 scenario. We saw Jax able to find victory yeah. in a similar situation earlier on, but oh, he doesn't spot him. Yeah, this is a bit there. Yeah, behind right the after. door, point blank. There you have it. The name comes out again. They're able to clean it up, and that's going to be a first fair. round victory going the way of Pentawalani okay, Sports. Let's go. That's exactly the spot behind the door. There's always someone there, not just in competitive in the public rooms as well. So you do have to check for that spot. At the same time, you check for those pillars on to the left when you go up the stairs. So lots of different stuff that can be happening. So that's not the best spot. But when you break through that point, you get the control in between A and B together. Mantra already taking a bit of damage here. Knocked down below half HP. So on the back foot again is Signature PB. Fire in the hole! Mm -hmm. As this time they go a lot slower, trying to get some vision from the main cafe. And they're slowly moving out into the blue res towards the A stairs. 
exactly where he tried to come out last time. This time, Wanlon actually going all the way back. They're going to be safe. Yeah, Signature not really pushing too far either. So we're going to see some slow movements on, on this round or just setting up. One extra grenade and then just a sudden push. Seems like they want, do want to set it up for the A site. They're working their way Fire over. Fire it takes some extra time getting out those grenades and some smokes. And it's good to, you know, slow down the action. We had a very explosive first Fire round, which did not go their Fire way. So they want to play this Fire one. You know, creep around as much Fire as possible. Oh, but Caramel taken Fire down by the nades. Does displace Fire Dunker and actually Caspian will find one on the plus four. Mm -hmm. out, but Dunker playing forward here onto the corner. Mids to find one, but they trade it back. 2v2 situation here. And yeah, down the reinforce. That's going to come into the B side, but he can still is near, very near the bomb planting side as two. And takes down one more. That's the final one left here. Affirmative. Fade eliminated aggressive. Going in for that bomb plant. Has Hudshu to back him up. The bomb has been planted. Well can find the shots. You know, operating into the underpass mm -hmm. area. There are, few, there are a few ways. Usually there's one if there's two at least. Pushing up. Gotta check behind the door as always. Able to find that final shot. Mission success. Yes. Nicely, nicely done okay. to finish up that round. And then let's go to the third one. One one split for now. And when they have that kind of push, I think the grenade. It was a trade. Dunker got hit by the grenade, but he was able to put one out. And there's already a kill now. Yeah, Fosforo just gonna get taken down. Aggressive, going aggressive, finds that first kill. That shot for him, signature PB, looking to slingshot their way into a lead. Popping some of these barrels here in the streets. Those kind of grenades that Dunker is able to throw towards the B plant site. And there are lots of angles you can dodge from, but if he's successful at getting any one of those, like last game, they can just push all in, and Wallon actually didn't really have the best positions to defend against the tempo, but that was a good round for them. And continuing the action slowly here, as they do have to carefully look at the, all the angles. There's nowhere nice to go. Game. They had him pinched there, nowhere really for him to run to. Fate does manage to find one there on the gas bin, but Aggressive comes up with another kill as Fate will get taken down by that nade. Gonna be spamming through, looking for a target, but who's a pushing in, but gets mowed down. Dunker on the back side, Mitch find two. Takes down two. One, one after the other, one. but he needs to get two more. For the shots there on the Madra, is not able to find it. Madra takes him out with a headshot, and that is gonna be Mission Signature success. PB moving into a lead okay, now up go. two to one. And this is exactly getting control of the cafe from the A side and the B, or even the main cafe in the right at the center. There's so many cafes with the windows. We can get to control that and extend it. Coming out, watch you out. Try to come out all the way out here and got killed. Yeah, another first blood going over to Signature PB. That's hold on, need to stabilize, need to try to slow down the pace of the game, but already, Signature PB just able to push their way in over onto the point. Yeah, kind of they kind of knew that there was way too many thrown towards the mid and the A side, so they actually moved entirely away from the B, knowing just counting how many grenades, so they just kept that B open for now, and especially when they have one down, the five members. If the bomb is planted, it's going to be a worse situation for them. Throw them down, trying to block out those entryways. Keep them safe as aggressive. We'll go ahead and plant the bomb. The bomb has been planted. A lot of shots being exchanged, but nobody's soaking up these bullets. Everyone pretty much going to be healthy. And as I say that, though, Matra has the perfect flank angle. Comes up with one there on the fate, but Dunker scoops up. Returning kill shortly thereafter. Caspian finds Medusa. Dunker comes up with another one, but he has got a sliver of HP. Only 12 health remaining with three members of the signature PB to go through if they want to defuse that bomb. Oh, this is really hard. Getting down a few, but still clutching out. Dunker, on the last one left again. Still Can you pull it out? 12 health, trying to push around the corner, but they had that flank angle. They had the Mission crossfire going success. through on the him, and he gets taken down. It's going to be another okay. win on the board now for Signature PB. Two away from closing out this half. Mm, that's exactly it's why it's so hard to actually go into a side right after. Because when you have to defuse, you have to go around. And there's a door that can cover the angle of the one going around. The one can just stay in there. 
to you can you have to check out oh, there's so many angles for the actual blue side before they go in and defuse. You need some amazing place for that to happen. This is really rare, but still with these type of players with the highest level around the world, anything could happen on this day. Waka really just leading the charge here. We'll just kite back. It joins in with the rest of his squad as this is going to be a bit of a slower paced push coming up from Sega for PB this time around. Nades is going to get dumped out. Up and over, looking to find a pick or at least displace Pantwell on esports, but seems like they're not going to be swayed here at the moment. No real damage with those nades, so a lot has been, has been tossed already from Signature. Trying to open up a little more, but not going to find success. Affirmative. Peter actually coming out. Oh, shoot. And he goes through. Okay, this is, they have to start moving now. He goes through the middle. So, uh, because they opened up one of the sites. Working the way through now. Smoke thrown down. Pulse from finds Fire one. Aggressive hole. gonna be eliminated. Fire in the hole. And advantage down here for Pantalon and Hachu has Fire been tagged up quite a bit, as has now been uh, Caramel there. There's Hunter a counter kill. Forward. And the bomb is planting. They do want to push through. Yeah, Hachu out gonna get taken down. Four to three here as Dunker pushes forward. Looking for the kills, but he's not gonna be able to find anything, but the rest of his team comes in. Fate finds two, but then gets taken down. It's a 1v2 situation, but Medusa has HP on his side. Caramel and Hachu both have taken quite a bit. He knows he's there and he pushes straight nice. into the headshot. Caramel finds that kill. Mission success. It was looking perhaps so right, good for Medusa to be able to come around, turn mm -hmm. that situation on its head. Because the opponents had were so... Both of them were really low HP, just a few shots off. But that's why you just kind of have to pre-fire. And you can work that as an advantage, just covering both angles. And this time, Signature, they're going all the way into the B-side, straight up. Yeah, they are just charging their way through. Hachu going to be taken down, but the answering kill's coming out now. A 2v2, but barely so. Watch you while hanging on by a thread. Signature PB, they want to close out this half with a bang. Mm -hmm. And lots of grenade were used, actually. Already from Pantalon, great events, but still, the reason why, they can't really push in. And no bomb planted yet, so they don't have to rush in now. They can wait for that timing. Mile pushing over towards a ramp. Peyton will be able to find him, takes him down. Even in the odds, it's a little bit more. Again, low HP situation for the side of Pantalon. Aggressive. See what he comes up with for now. Just going to be wrapping back around towards mm -hmm. the spawn. Because he has a pretty good idea that they will be covering the low angles in the middle. And he, he has some time to actually work this, work this out. And he has full HP. They're on yeah. the hunt for him, though. Faint trying to snipe out here. Mm -hmm. Let's have his revolver primed and ready to go. But Aggressive is working his way through. On to A. I don't think he was spotted. Mm -hmm. So bomb getting ready to be planted. They will soon know exactly where he is. But actually, you do show up if you go. If you if the lower end goes covered when you go out, you can be you can be taken down very easily. So aggressive checking very carefully of all angles because he's the only one left. He's not sure which way they're going to come from. He see, he hears those shots coming down from Watchy Well. So he has an idea of where one is and can surmise that the other is going for a flank. That's why he's going to be spotting out that right hand side. But now, for the close play, Shimao makes his way inside. He lets he go through he's slow playing this one. Him. Aggressive just going to be waiting. He knows that he's got time on his side. The nade coming through to disrupt the bomb defusal. Watch you out, going to get eliminated. The bomb will Red go off, but it doesn't win. even need to. He gets the shots perfectly played by Aggressive at the end. Such a beautiful slow play coming through from him. Knows when to show restraint, not to give away his position. Comes up with that 1v2 clutch scenario to close out the half, five to one. And that was a very dominating one. And the final round, of course, is understanding what he has. He has an extra grenade, so he doesn't really need to pressure. He can just let that growth go through. It doesn't really matter because as long as, because he has already planted the bomb, so he, he can work with time, not the shot. So understanding the situation and the game perfectly, you need to pull that out off the stage. What a great player. It's the first half. It's going to be 5-1.
let's see if Hanta Walong is able to come back in their own score in the second half. Need to have a very dominant performance if they want to swing this back in their favor. As they need to have a 5-0. Yeah, they, they just need to crush it. They need uh -huh. to not drop a single round, but given how the first half went, it's looking like this one could okay. be in the books very swiftly here, G Clef. Same as the PB. They can just pull off one clean defense in this first round. That would be the win on the board for them. Of course, again, we will be playing out all of the rounds regardless of, of if that victory is locked in. Oh, yes. Because of our tiebreaker constraints that mm -hmm. we might need down the line at the end of the day. So Panto Lan checking the waters. First red round, you do want to check the positions, but they have no room. They're pushing out a lot into the east right now. Basically Already. got it covered. Uh, Signature, they're willing to give that up, kind of. Oh, not you push it in from the back. And then just to find one as Dunker will go down. Now get that follow up, but Caspian with a grenade does manage to take down Fate. But he's trying to play around the corner. Will go ahead and get found out by Caspian. Just playing behind these doors, around these sight lines, keeping himself safe. And coming up with the kills. Watching well. And just to answer one back as Caramel will get taken down. Affirmative. A 3v2 situation. 2v2 yep. situation. 2v2 now. They already know that one's at A. They didn't have information where Phosphor was, so taking one down, they know exactly where. But in this kind of situation, what right here as Caspian goes down with 7 HP left on the watch. Oh, wow. Aggressive. Pulled off a situation like this at the end of the first round. First mm, half. spots where aggressive is, and they want to plan and make this situation a little better for themselves because it's, it is a 2v1 situation. Right? He actually been doesn't planted. even take that much damage, though, in that exchange, even though he's caught off guard. Aggressive still was able to stay safe. Pushing around the corner, trying to find that kill to watch you out. Now going to go aggressive, but he cannot get the hits despite how low he was. They're able to pick up Mission that kill fail. and keep their hopes alive. Okay, nice clutch play, using what's near them, using the boxes, using all those windows, and also crouching because he only had, I believe, 7 HP left on himself. So, of course, he had his teammate, but still just using and understanding the map environment. What a great play. Yeah, fantastically done. Pants hold on, they get one, and they get four more in a row. Yes, they need straight four more rounds if they want to take this match. It's still possible, and the first one was the most important one. Fire in the hole! Fire in the hole! Momentum on their side. Signature DB gonna be looking to turn that around. Medusa just gonna be crouching, Fire hiding out behind the counter here. Slowly moving out because oftentimes there's one next to the wind, next to the door, and one all the way on top. So he spots the angle, throws a grenade. At those pillars, they lock. A lot of players actually hide behind it. That's why they're swimming up for it. They know that Medusa's in there. Fire in the hole! It's coming out, not gonna be catching anybody. Aggressive people to play behind the crates. It's coming out, it's gonna be rolling down the staircases and even a smoke for some extra cover will be tossed in. So far, only Dunker has fallen. And hold on, losing that first member. But now Medusa, gonna be going down. Caspian able to find the kill. And they will continue because they lose a lot of firepower when they want to push out. Watch you out. Getting some prediction where Medusa was before. But if they want to push, they lose another member. And he goes down as well. So only one left for... And this is not a good news when they need four rounds in a row. Not at all. Now fate. Maybe the only one left looking for the mother of all clutches. But can pull they, this are off. Just, they are just Five swarming one. that B-bomb side right now. Mm -hmm. So he's feeling the pressure to shift around for a different approach or to just change it up and try to go for A. Mm -hmm. He's going to check. Here, but already finds a member, and the second one pops out of nowhere, and he goes down. And that's it. Mission success. Cannot get those five rounds in a row. Right, so a pickup here, tying it up one-to-one -one in the second half. Mm -hmm. Which means that signature PB cannot be. No. Do you still tie it up? Phantom Alarm, they bring four straight rounds. They certainly can try. Mm -hmm. But it will take a tremendous amount of effort and some luck in there as well. We'll see. A draw now going to be their best hopes, but three points will not be possible for Phantom Alarm. 
Any points is better than no points, but watch you out. We'll get taken down first and foremost here as Caramel comes up with that headshot. So we're just going to be spamming away, looking for any additional pushers coming through. And actually, Caspian going aggressive, pushes straight to the clutches of Medusa, comes up with that kill. So maybe a bit of a turnaround here for Pantamolan as they now have that man advantage. And then Mildred goes down as well. And they... Okay, I like Whoa. this fact that they are actually timing down their tempo, trying to get some information, but hot shoot! Clutch play here, taking down Medusa. Fire in the hole! Yep, making it even here with the 3v3. Well, They're coming around a to take some angles at B, but aggressive says no way. Yeah, finds one, still playing the angle. Turning around the back of the box is here. Looking now for Dunker, who's pushing forward onto him. Giving him that much damage here. It's pretty even. Actually, Dunker turns around, finds Hunchu. Now suddenly aggressive is an another dire situation. Another 1v2. Fate gonna take him down at range, but actually does get answered back some damage onto him. Mm -hmm. so both of them gonna be weakened here on the side of Pentable Lawn, but now they're moving forward. They're looking for the plant onto A. He goes straight to A after knowing their information, actually covering a good amount of the angle. Has been planted. So you don't even have to rush. Aggressive will be alone here, but he can pull out. Some amazing play because Dunker is very low as well. Same approach. You know that these guys are weakened. Finds the one. Dunker, which is a sliver of HP, is trying to answer this one back, but aggressive will be able to find the shots. And with 20 plus seconds remaining on the clock, that the fuse will come through. Mm -hmm. A nice, nice 2v1 there as he took it down Bomb slowly. Diffused. As Phantom Alon trying to get some information, actually revealed themselves a little Mission too much success. when they were low in HP. When you have both in low HP, sometimes it's better to just stay put and cover both ankles so you have a lot more chance of winning. But that was not the case. And actually, Signature PB coming in hot and taking two rounds. But we do have to still go on yep. and take the full second half as well. They will continue. Fire in the hole! on now. Just going to be looking for a bit of redemption here. Improve their performance as they get ready to go deeper and deeper into the Fire event. Smattering of damage thrown out on the Caspian. Now we're gonna get choked up below half HP, actually, so picking a battering here by the hands of Pentavalon and will get burned down. Medusa will place four to find that kill. Hunchu getting jumped on, will be able to answer one back there on the Dunker, but mm -hmm. fate finds him. That is one that is one of the worst thing and the best thing about FPS as you're trying to aim for the other person and then the other person pops out and he dies instead. Yep. It happens a lot. Sometimes <laughs> the it's just best not thing. possible to get everybody. Comes down to the coordination that the teams are putting forward here. Mm -hmm. But speaking of coordination, both of these squads have been back and forth with how many members they have left alive. So still going to be 3v3. Look at the comment. They want to try a lot of their strategy because this is not the only game they have to play throughout the match, throughout the day. Of course, they will be having a lot of other maps, but still Fire testing a lot of their strategies that they have been preparing. There's been another one aggressive coming up with the kill. Certainly making an argument for himself to be in that MVP contention at the end of the tournament if they can advance deeper and deeper. Already well, had that clutch performance and he's been putting names on the board here for his team, just constantly picking off members of Pantamalon left and right. Mm -hmm. As it will continue the pressure into B, but Carmel ready for this. Oh! But gets found! Yeah! Mamudra Check takes... the opposite side, but uh -huh. not a response fast enough to turn around and try to get that kill. Still going to be... A 1v2 situation here from Wachi while as he tries to close planted. this out. The bomb will get planted, so 40 seconds on the clock. But he needs to pick up some pretty swift kills here, especially against Madra, who is pushing aggressively over onto his right flank. Now aggressive, dropping down. In the same angle of approach that he's been running with this entire time. Pushes forward, and aggressive has the kill. Eliminates him. Roger will just go ahead and get that bomb defused. Signature PB going to be moving up 3-1 here in the second half. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's bomb defused. good to plan, but when you're down a person, sometimes you just can't escape. If Mission you can't escape, success. it makes it so much easier for the blue side to actually come and defuse and get a good idea where you are, and you can't really take that into a fake too much. Fire in the hole! Yeah. they're trying really hard, but Signature PB, they're just working it a lot better, but oh. so far, Dunker finding the first kill. Yeah, and on aggressive, that is such a crucial member to take down. They're moving out onto the B because they got the first kill. Lots of overnades coming down, but not really finding kills. Now one answering back, so making this. Now a 4v3 as Medusa will get taken down, but watch. 
Come back in, gets rid of Matra. Just like that, it starts unraveling for Pantomalon, where Fate is now going to be the only one left alive versus three members. Caspian, a sliver of health, so maybe he could take him down, but then he's basically still got to get that 1v2 clutch. Mm -hmm. The backup speed coming out from Signature PB when they are men down to B. And they exactly knew with the amount of, amount of grenade thrown that they were coming into B. Nice defense and the speed of backup coming from Signature PB here. Yeah, really good stabilization from Signature PB after losing out on aggressive very early and then Madra shortly thereafter. On the wrap around the back over towards A here. Fate. It's hard to get into the plant side and also to escape. That's why they just leave this one. When they have three men, of course, they have a lot more advantage everywhere. Yeah, some shots coming through. Fate makes his way to the opposite side. He's still trying to exchange some shots. Keep tabs on the opposing members. Two shots here at Carmel. Closing oh, in. Him out. The bottom two actually coming all the way up here. Yeah, he manages to find one, but now he's got two. Very close to him to worry about, and Caspian will be able to deliver that final blow. Mission mm -hmm. success. Even though he bought a lot of time from the from that right, window, the out. other two are crawling in, and for the back is fast and speed. Didn't really have the time to plant the bomb. And another round taken for Signature BB. They only need one more round to close the match. Already, already. The first kill. Yeah, fantastic start. As Dunker goes down, another one is with Deuce and joins him in the they grave. Go out first. Out. Modra will fall low, but so far he's still able to stay alive. Answers back a kill on the board. Ratchet with another one on the board there. And Luffy, that is just going to be such a fast round, a fast way to close it out. Another five wins on the board for Signature PB. They pick up their victory here in the second match of the main stage. What a match from them. 5 1 and 5 1. First half and second half seemed pretty dominant in downtown Pantalon. Of course, not known as as well as Signature PB from Thailand, but they put up put up a good fight. They had some chances, but every single time, Signature PB was able to shut them down from those opportunities. Yep, really good clutch moments there and a good team effort out from Signature PB. Going to be looking forward to seeing more of those guys as we advance deeper into the tournament. But, uh, I mean, that's the second match out of the way. Coming up next, I think we're going to have the return of RQ Endeavor here onto the main stage as they get ready to go up against Hogs Rascal Gaming. Hogs Rascal Gaming will be up next, of course, but we do have to consider that what's going on in the second stage as well. I had news that Art oh, of Execution of is actually leading against T-Rush SKR really quickly, so we'll see. But we will be back. That's it for match number two. We have another one coming at you guys very shortly, coming up after the commercial break.